Today we'll be installing Ubuntu onto this HP Compact 6005 Pro desktop computer. As you can see, I've got it hooked up to this monitor and just keyboard and mouse. Uh, I believe the computer's currently got Windows 7 Pro on it, or at least it's got a Windows 7 sticker. So hopefully, I don't know that might be what's on it or not. But first things first, need to see if the computer itself works because I have absolutely no idea. So uh, here goes. Okay, so it appears to have turned on, but nothing on the display. Um, okay, uh, let's have a look. Don't appear to have anything showing up on the display. See if it's uh, see what it's doing here. No signal. Okay, well, I'll take this thing apart then quickly and make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the RAM from the other computer has now been installed, so uh, let's see what it does. Oh, it does I turn on the wall. Sorry, let's take two. Okay, so it's turned on again this time like the last time. So nothing on the display though. Hmm. I'll probably check that it is actually plugged in. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's definitely plugged in. It just doesn't seem to want to output anything. Okay, then. Um, maybe there's something else wrong with this, then. I'll be back in a minute. So as soon as I put the, uh, the camera down, well actually my phone, but as soon as I put it down, took the cover off, this thing's decided to start showing some stuff on the screen. So you see the 4 gigs of RAM in the top there that I've put in. Got system options not set. So presumably it's got Dead CMOS, but we will just press F1 to save the changes. And, okay, it's beeping. Uh, ah, here we go. Date and time not set. Whatever. Boot. Starting Windows. So it looks like we have got Windows 7 on this thing then. Well, I will wait I will uh, wait for it to boot and then I'll come back. Okay, so the, uh, the computer has booted up into Windows and I've installed this so we can have a more detailed look at the specs of this machine. So there you go. I suspect you can see it's Windows 7 Pro if the camera focuses. There we go. 64 bit service pack 1. Got that AMD AF line there. 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, 500 gig hard drive. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I guess now we know the computer does, does actually work, we can uh, go ahead with the plan to install Ubuntu on it. So I'll be back once uh, I've got an Ubuntu disk. This is quite funny, I just went to go to uh, YouTube on the AMD computer while I waited for my main PC to uh, copy files so I can install Ubuntu on this thing. But it says, your clock is behind. I didn't even notice this at first, but uh, it's not focused, but it says that it's 1980. So... That definitely confirms that's not focusing. Oh, it says it there. There you go. It's definitely not 1980. So, um, yeah. CMOS battery is definitely dead. Okay, the memory stick is in containing Ubuntu. So, let's power this thing on. going to see if it goes straight to it. Uh, 
Um, well, that's not good. Um, okay, let's uh, let's turn this thing off. And press F9 for the boot menu. USB device. Hmm. Okie dokie. Operating system wasn't found. Okay then. Let me have a look at this. Okay, so I have completely reinstalled Ubuntu onto a memory stick as you can see there so I'm going to restart the computer and see what it does here we go I guess let's see what it does or, or doesn't Ah, uh, hey, we are getting somewhere. Uh, Ubuntu, there we go. Just what we want to see. Yeah, it turns out I mucked up creating the memory stick, and that's why it didn't work. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to wait for it to do something then. Oh, okay. And as I said that, okie dokie. So let's try. Try Ubuntu. And let's see what happens, I guess. Okay, got some, uh, oh, it's gone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And there we go. Okie dokie then. Well, I will get back to you as I'm about to install it. I'm now ready to install Ubuntu, so continue, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll just select both of them. And I press continue. Let's give it, let's see what. We can get it going then. Um, well, the computer hasn't locked up yet, so I guess we're going somewhere. Uh, okay. Okay. The computer currently has multiple operating systems on it. What would you like to do? Install Ubuntu alongside them. Yes, we do want to do that. I don't know why it's saying multiple operating systems. It's only got Windows 7, as far as I'm aware, but, you know. We'll just pretend. Okay, allocate drive specs, yada, yada, yada. Select drive. Well, that's the only drive. Do some more partitions are hidden because of the yada, yada. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I guess by dragging the divider. Uh, well, we'll leave it as that for now. I guess it doesn't really matter. Install. Uh huh. Okay. Before you select any partition, before you can select a partition without any previous changes, uh, any previous changes, uh, you can't do something. Please, now it's reset operation. Might take a long time. Continue. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take a long time. Mm, I can hear the drive in there. I'm still just sat at this screen. Okay, there we go. If you continue the changes, otherwise you'll be able to make a change. Now you your Uh huh. We'll just press continue. Uh, where am I? Okay, so. 
Ah, ya hombre. Okay. Um. Do I have to put a password in? Okay, let me put a password in and I'll be back. Okay, so I've popped in a password quickly and we're now at this screen here. Where it's saying uh, it's fast and full of new features. The latest version of Ubuntu makes computing easier than ever. There is a cool few of the new cool things to look out for. Okay, so I guess we can just click that. Say goodbye to search number for new software with access to the Ubuntu software store. You can find, find and install new apps with ease. Just type in what you're looking for or explore categories such as site, education and games alongside helpful reviews from other users. Take music with you. I'm not going to bother reading all of these. I'm just going to look for it. Okie dokie then. I'll get back to you when something interesting's happened. Well, it looks like the, insula the installation installation is finished. So you can continue using Ubuntu or we can restart the computer. So restart the computer. Don't need to continue using it. I might as well use it once I've restarted the computer. Looking good so far. Forgot to take the memory stick out, so it's just booted from the memory stick. Okie dokie. Do you want to quit installation? Yes. Well, that would be the cause of that problem, wouldn't it? I forgot to take the memory stick out. Not anymore. Let's just turn the computer off and back on again. Hopefully that solves the issue. Okay, so there's no memory stick in there anymore. Let's see what we get this time. Okie dokie. So... So I guess we can go to Ubuntu. Oh dear. Um, okay, we are back again. By the looks of things. Uh, just got a blank screen, but the monitor is getting getting a signal there. It's just got a blank screen. Does the mouse work? Oh, we've got a mouse. Uh, 
Okie dokie, I'll be back when something actually happens. Oh, okay. I won't be back when something happens because something did just happen. So, looks like we have made it into Ubuntu. Okay, well... I guess that was a success then, so I'll see you guys in the next video.